2025 just kicked off in. Elementor's already coming out swinging hard with new features. They've released a list of some of the features coming out this year. These are things that I'm personally crazy excited about, but I know many are as well because these are the things that we've been asking for. So first up, with 3.7, we have a new feature with the grid containers, or I should say a completion of the grid containers. What this means is we can now create bento grids like this without any CSS and in traditional Elementor fashion. They made this super, super easy to do. It's crazy easy. Let me show you how this works. To get started, I have a few grids already created. We have something simple right here we're going to use to see how the spans work. Then we have another grid right here. This is more of a normal looking grid that we would create. And then I'll show you how to turn that into a bento grid like this. And just a heads up, next week I got another video coming out, a follow-up, that's gonna show how to design and build a grid like this from scratch. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to do that. That way you can get notified when it drops. And real quick before we begin, just note that right now this is in beta. Hopefully it'll get out of beta soon, but I suggest to never use beta features on a live site. So please use this feature responsibly. Up here at the top in the container, I already have it set as a grid. And the familiar settings are gonna be right over here with our items. You see, we could control our columns. We could control our rows. You know, nothing is new. This is pretty much the same as it was. Let me take this back down. Now, where everything does change is gonna be the inside item. So let me move this over the structure panel so you could better see. Now in the structure panel, we have our grid container. In the grid container, you have your items right here. Each of these are an item. You got six of them and that's how we got the grid. Go to that item and then over to advance and now you're gonna see a new option and you're gonna see the grid item with the column span and the row span. The number of these right here are gonna be the number of what are called the cells and each one of these Inside the grid, you can even see the dotted line. This is gonna be a cell. So right now, this is only taking up one column, one row. So we could go ahead and add two columns, and now it's gonna take up two of the cells, and it's gonna push everything over. We could also do the same thing for the row. We could go ahead and add two. So now with this, you're able to easily create all kinds of different bentos, and you could go ahead and try all kinds of things without having to write a bunch of CSS. Let's go back up here. I wanna add another row, because I wanna have just a little bit of fun. All right, I'm gonna put four rows. All right, now let's go back over here and I'm gonna move the structure panel back. And now let's go ahead and just play around a little bit. We go to any of our grid items and we can start to play around. Let me turn this into two rows. I wanna fill up the space right here. And I could go over here as well. Let me go to advance, turn it to two rows, and check that out. I could do all kinds of things. I could even delete this right here. Let's move this one over. And let me, do you know what? I'm going to fill up the space. I'm gonna take this to three, and then I'll change this one, go to advance to my row to two, and you see all kinds of possibilities come up. Now, let's take a look at something like this. Here is a normal just text and image grid. I'm gonna go to this one to my item. I'm gonna go to advance. And if you go to advance and it doesn't show your item right here, that means you're not on the grid item. So let me take my structure panel back over here so we could have a better look and see what's going on. So it looks like right here, this container that I tapped on, this is actually my grid container. You're gonna wanna use your structure panel a lot while you're doing this. It really does help out with the workflow. And underneath this grid, these are gonna be my grid items. So let's go ahead and click on that. I can move this back over. I'll keep it up here. Go to advance and you can see we are on our grid item. So let's span this out to two. And then we're gonna go and do the same over here in this one, and I'm just gonna span that out to two. It is super easy. This is so easy to do. I, I don't know how any more easier this could have been done. I've been waiting for this feature 
but I also knew when Elementor rolled it out, I had a feeling they were gonna make it as easy as possible. And again, inside of the next video, we're gonna be designing this section right here from scratch, as well as possibly some other bento grids as well. So I'll see you in those videos. Next week, Elementor is rolling out the roadmap for 2025 with their 4.0 version, and they got a list of things that I have been hoping and even praying for, so I know I'm super excited about it. I know many of you are as well. This is definitely gonna be the year where we're gonna see some pretty awesome things coming in Elementor and just in web design in general. So don't forget all that good YouTube stuff, like and subscribe. This way you can stay notified as everything rolls out and get a lot more of these awesome web design tutorials. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it and I'll see you inside of the next one.